Who's calling me? Did you ever see my picture on the front page of the courier with a traffic hazard, not a NBA? That's alright, it's about picking up. Ah, shoot. Ex assistant Chief Connor. Herb. Herb Williams. He was, uh, Stop taking it real quick. Oh, maybe it's right here. Got some water, y'all. Good? Is it over with, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Call it in. They're going back to Kenji. What's that? They're going back to Kenji. Kitty CPR. Huh. Uh, done it on dog like this, too. Well, Doc, is this the littlest patient? Is he curling his toes? Oops, I think we need some value. That was like a spasm. It's Jim Sherman. Jim, okay, right where you're at there. Okay, okay tell me what happened. I was, uh, I live in the RV next door, and uh, I just uh, had told uh, Miss Smith good night, and about 10 minutes after I got over to my RV, 
I turned the baby monitor on. I have that baby monitor on because um, of uh, Miss Smith's age. Uh, I can tell if she's had a fall or uh, any other emergency. And uh, probably 10 minutes after I got in the, uh, got was listening to the radio, I turned the radio off and started concentrating on the baby monitor. Then I'll, I heard some strange noises. She'd gone in, uh, Miss, Miss Smith had gone into the bathroom to uh, check on some newborn kittens. And uh, I heard some strange noises and I concentrated. I thought she, she sounds a little funny coming out of that bathroom. And uh, then I heard a sudden abrupt noise or two and she didn't, and all of a sudden she called Jim, Jim. Jim, and I, I said, uh-oh, and I thought something had happened, and she said, the house is on fire, and I jumped out and ran down and followed the fence around to the front, opened the door, <clears throat> which you're not supposed to do, really, when there's a fire, but it was closed. I opened it, and she was in the, uh, Miss Smith was in the kitchen. I... Uh, grabbed on to Miss Smith's hand and led her out uh, onto the uh, porch and proceeded to call uh, the emergency service. And uh, Miss Smith is uh, blind uh, almost herself. And, uh, you know, it was uh, uh, lucky that I got her out of there because I really didn't realize how bad uh, the flames were in the uh, uh, but it was getting pretty hot in there. You felt quite a bit of heat though coming off? There. I felt uh, a lot of heat coming out of the uh, uh, residence, yeah. What about, what about as far as, what, do, you, do you, what, in and out quite a bit during the day so you pretty well knew your way? I pretty well knew my way. I come over here to kind of uh, take care of, uh, well, not I'm not a caretaker, but I come over here and... Uh, at this house, and uh, uh, a lot of times when uh, uh, Miss Smith's daughter is asleep, and kind of look after, uh, uh, I've been looking after Miss Smith, and uh, I will, I'll come over and watch television or uh, help fix her dinner, uh, TV dinner or something, uh, uh, because she's by herself a, a lot, and. Uh, her daughter works at night, and uh, uh, she is uh, she's she's there quite a bit by herself. And at her age, it's uh, which is 84, uh, it's uh, uh, makes sense to have somebody close. Now you're you're legally blind also. Legally blind, totally blind. Been been that way ever since I was uh, a few days old. Incubator related. Uh, 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 oxygen, too much oxygen, uh, it caused uh, uh, retinopathy, uh, which caused it, the whole eyes, the, every part of my eye to get, uh, both eyes to get damaged. Uh, but I'm pretty well adjusted to life in general. Worked for 25 years as a programmer, computer programmer, uh, with some special equipment. And I retired four years ago, uh, four or five years ago, <laughs> and I've uh, been living by myself and I, I kind of became friends with her daughter and decided to, buy, to uh, get out of an apartment lease, buy an RV, and move up to the country. So that's what I did six months ago. Okay. And, uh, and how old are you now? I'm uh, almost 55, be 55 in June. Uh, I used to live in Humble. I, I, came, uh, I was born in uh, uh, Northwest Houston, then moved out of the Texas for a while and uh, worked out of te in and out of Texas and then uh, after I retired <laughs> I uh, I guess was looking for a change and got bored with just uh, living where I was living and and uh, decided to move up here. Now how did when you got to her when she was at the front you, you what went in the front door and she was right there or what? She was uh, not too far inside the house when I got uh, open the front door. I think she was starting towards the door. She had uh, called for me about, oh, a half a dozen times 
and uh, I couldn't answer her on the baby monitor because it's just a two-way uh, radio type thing, and uh, uh, but it didn't ha didn't have a, a two-way going the other way. You can hear, her, but but one one unit's a receiving thing, and the other one is the hearing thing. So I couldn't say I'm coming right there. I just had to run over here and when I got to the door and opened it I could smell smoke and uh, hear some crackling in the back part of the house where the bathroom is where I think it started above the bathroom and uh, <clears throat> I could hear the uh, 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 fire the crackling wood and but she was right there in the uh, area by the front door and so she took, uh, I took hold of her and uh, ushered her outside. Granny, when I'm talking to her daughter, I'll say your mom or Nan. Uh, All right, so first of all, your name? Kevin Bates. Montgomery County Fire Marshal? Yes, sir. Tell me what happened. Uh, basically this evening about, uh, about 10.30, uh, the fire Grangeland Fire Department was dispatched to a residential fire, uh, which you see behind me. Uh, an elderly woman was at home alone at the time. She, uh, there was a baby monitor, which was being monitored uh, by the neighbor next door. Uh, she had recently had a stroke about three weeks ago, so he, uh, he was trying to help her out if she would fall and he would come over here and help her. Uh, basically, she called out for help and the neighbor who uh, amazingly is blind made his way over to the residence, opened the front door and walked in, uh, could smell smoke and heard some crackling uh, towards the back of the residence. He was able to assist the uh, elderly female out of the residence and uh, get her to safety. Right now we have uh, pinpointed the fire uh, originating in the back of the residence. The cause is still under investigation. Uh, we should be back out here in the morning to uh, finish up our investigation. That was pretty much total loss? Yes, sir. Okay. What's your name? Lori Burley. Lori. W-I-L-L-I-E. B-U-R-L-E-R. I'm sorry? B-U-R-L-E-Y. Burley? Okay. Okay. So what's that? Laura? Lori. Lori. Lori, tell me what happened. They brought kittens out of the house. We put them on oxygen and warmed them up and stimulated them. They're doing good. We'll save an animal? Yes. <laughs> 